Looks like it's gonna be one of those days. I've had this office chair for probably like four years, maybe even five years. So it looks like it's like something's broken on it. And what's weird is that the actuator at the bottom, like the thing that makes this go up and down, I replaced that not that long ago. Unfortunately, I think this thing is toast. And now I got grease on the pants from the chair. It looks like it's gonna be one of those days where it's gonna be hard to get anything done because stuff just like this keeps happening. Well, luckily I have this extra office chair, which is from my old setup. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> and I think the last time I used this one was back in 2015 when we moved into this house. So this chair is actually like six years old. So I think six years for an office chair, especially one of this price point, is probably pretty good. I mean, it's not like it's a Herman Miller or anything like that. I've got a couple webinars that I need to create for my coaching program. So I know for sure today that I have to set up webinars for those and, and get some emails out to get people signed up for it who are in the program. Well, now that that is done, it's just a matter of figuring out what I'm gonna do about this office chair. And I'm, it's kind of like a debate. Like, do I go with another, like, gaming chair which i did like i think they added a little bit of personality to my videos or do i go with something more typical like uh, a herman miller chair because i'm at my computer all the time but then again i like to kind of be not always sitting the way that i should be <laughs> like i don't always have perfect posture sometimes i like to like sit on my legs and stuff like that and i think a chair like that's not going to allow me to do that drop in the comments below what kind of chair you think I should get. Yesterday I ended up actually picking up my first NFT, which I'm gonna, I don't know when I'm gonna flip this, but I'm gonna flip it for sure. It's not something that I'm gonna sit on for a long time, um, but I got the Al Cabones NFT. And if you're like me, you're probably thinking like, that's really confusing, it doesn't make any sense. But I see people are making a lot of money with them, so I'm trying to like learn what I'm doing. Cause I don't want to be that guy that was like, oh, this is stupid and then miss the opportunity, even though that's kind of how I feel. They have what's called a minting process, which means you can get one of the first ones. And there was limited to 10,000. Basically they did 3,000 on the pre-giveaway and then they did 7,000 yesterday. Well, I managed to get one of the 7,000. This drop was so competitive that the gas fees went up to like $8,000 at one point. Well, I managed to score one. So if you go to OpenSea and you look at like uh, what's available, this is like the eBay of NFTs. I managed to score one of these Alka Bones for about $1,500 after the fees and stuff. And then I woke up today and the floor price was at about $2,000-ish, a little over $2,000. So I think um, we're we're moving in the right direction. This may actually be something that turns out to be profitable. Now you'll notice they all look the same right now. And that's because apparently uh, sometime today, this evening, they're going to release what all of these are. So it's like a mystery as of right now. And then we'll find out which one we got. So my thinking is one of two things could happen. Number one, this could shoot the price way up. Or number two, they could start to tank after this. I guess it's all kind of a gamble at this point, but the fact that I got in pretty reasonable, I think I'll be able to at least get out for what I got in if it turns out that mine isn't that great. But again, I don't really know what I'm doing yet. Not financial advice or anything like that. I don't, I really I legitimately don't know what I'm doing. This is my first one, I'm trying to learn. So I'm gonna take a quick break from working and head to the store because we're working on a few projects. So our screen door out back keeps swinging open and hitting the gutter and it's like rubbing the paint off. So we're gonna head to the store, see if we can find some screws to put a chain on it so that it stops it from swinging. Had to make a quick stop at the post office to drop off some packages for our e-com business. I don't know if I told you guys, but even though we stopped doing Amazon, we're still doing e-commerce, sort of with Amazon. It's kind of a workaround, but 
Yeah. This is what I'm looking for right here, the sheet metal screws. Perfect. These are gonna go into the storm door, which is metal. So that's what you want, self-drilling. All right, so we got the screws, but I also picked up a bottle of wheel cleaner because the I-8 is super dirty and I've been putting off actually washing it because I didn't have any wheel cleaner. So this is good stuff. Um, Diablo wheel cleaner from Chemical Guys if you guys are looking for a good wheel cleaner. If you like to wash your cars yourself like I do. So I've been doing a lot of research on these chairs and trying to figure out what's gonna be the best one. So basically I've narrowed it down to like three different choices that I'm thinking of. So choice number one is $169 from Staples. It's the Hiken chair. Now I came across this chair because I was looking into the Herman Miller Aeron, I think it's called. And this is like a very, very, the Aeron is a very, very expensive chair. It's like the chairs that they use at Google and Facebook. Apparently from what I've been reading, this chair is like a knockoff of it. And a lot of people say that it's actually more comfortable because according to some YouTube videos, you don't have the plastic digging into your leg if you don't want to always sit properly, which is kind of important to me. Like I don't always want to have a perfect posture. So next up on the list, I'm thinking about this Secret Lab Titan Evo 2022 series, uh, which is $450, depending on, I guess, what color scheme you pick. I'm thinking about going with this um, right here, this colorway. And uh, funny enough, I'm playing Horde right now, but I really do like this colorway with the gold and the and the blue. Wouldn't look too different from what I have back there because I do like the like blue color scheme. So that might be an option. This gaming chair, the Secret Lab one, looks a little bit beefier, might be a little more comfortable, maybe a little higher quality, although I'm sure they're all probably from the same manufacturer in China anyways, but I don't know, maybe it would be better. And then my third option is basically a Herman Miller Embody, this Logitech G gaming chair, or they do make a non-gaming version, which is basically just called Embody, and it's, I think, the same price. I just kind of like the design of this one a little bit more, but we're talking $15.95 for a chair, which, I mean, I don't really have a problem spending it if it's worth it. I'm just not convinced if it's gonna be worth it or not. So comment below, let me know if you've had any experience with any of these chairs because I'm kind of in a dilemma and I need to figure it out pretty quickly. All right, so I'm picking back up where I left off yesterday, which was you saw me leaving the store with the screws. I got home and I just got preoccupied with something else. Didn't have time to vlog it, unfortunately. Also didn't have time to work on the storm door anyways, but that's all right. So. Today, I've been kind of busy. We've had a webinar going on. Let me show you what it is. So I just held this webinar, How to Rank Fast Using YouTube and CTR Manipulation, which I guess at this point, if you know, you know. This is um, in my high ticket program. We do private, uh, we call them declassified sessions for our members. We do them about once every two or three weeks. And they're like really advanced topics, things that no one's really talking about, just to give them a little bit of an edge. So that was fun, we did that. And then I went to Costco today. That's what else you didn't see. But I got back from there and picked up an Apple TV 4K, which is for the movie theater room, which you saw me work on in the last vlog. So I'm gonna hook that up down there, which will be nice. And then also since yesterday, I told you about the NFT project that I invested in. I told you that there would be a big reveal. Well, unfortunately, that never happened. So check this out. So yesterday when I showed you, or earlier in the vlog, the floor price was at like 0.6, I think. Now we're at 0.38, which is just slightly less than I paid for it. Which as of this point means that I've lost a little bit of money. But that being said, there's a reason, I guess, why it didn't delay. At least I'm hoping it's a legitimate reason. So apparently, before they were about to release the, the reveal of the NFTs, they found something in the coding that would have been like a security vulnerability. And rather than just release it as is, they say they wanted to protect everyone's assets, of course, and make sure that there was no security issue. So instead, they're fixing this, and now they're going to do the reveal on Saturday, which is like, four or five days from now. So 
We'll see what happens. I really hope that the reveal actually happens Saturday like it's supposed to, and I'm gonna just hold it at this point. Obviously, I could unload it. I mean, with this price that's at right now, even if I did unload it, I really wouldn't lose much money at all. But I'm willing to take my chances that this project isn't actually a scam, that they are gonna follow through with their word, and it has a big community behind it. There were like 30,000 people that were trying to mint these NFTs, which means that they were trying to get them when they immediately dropped and there's only 10,000 available. So that alone tells me that there is a huge demand for the project and it's probably going to be okay. So anyways, I think we'll wrap up this vlog here. I will see you next time in a future video. Leave me a comment below what you should think I should do about this office chair if you have any experience with any other ones. Also comment below, let me know if you think I'm making a good decision with this NFT by holding on to it. Not even gonna pretend I know what I'm doing. This world is all very new to me, but I think that it's the right decision to hold on to it. So anyways guys, we'll see you in another video. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you back on the channel.